when I was 16 years old, I went to an audition and one of the producers was like, are you gonna go to college? And I said, yes, I am. He goes, for acting. And I said, no. And he goes, you don't wanna be an actress when you grow up. And I said, yes, I do, but I'm gonna go to college for business. And he goes, why? You're not gonna be an actress then. I said, that way when I go to school for business and I get a contract for $20 million, I can read that contract myself and not get f***ed over. <laughs> To me, Cassie is a teenage girl still trying to figure out where she belongs in the world. And unfortunately, she has her nudes leaked. So everybody has this perception of her and it's hard to figure out who you are when everybody always looks at you as the slut or the whore or the girl who posts all her nudes or will have sex with any guy. And she always looks for love and all her boyfriends and then gets hurt in the end because of it. What spoke to me about Cassie is her arc that you'll see towards the end of the show. I think that she has a very relatable storyline that happens to her and there's so many different aspects of her life that happens in season one that people will be able to draw from and I was able to draw from. When I create a character, I create her from the day she was born to the first page of the script and I create this interactive timeline, journal, diary of each character. So I built every experience that she's gone through, every memory, every past to make who she was. In Cassie's book, it was very dramatic, artsy, because as a teenage girl, I mean, I know I would write diary journals and be way more dramatic than the situation actually was, and I felt that Cassie would do the same. So in a lot of the book, it's very artsy, dramatic quotes that she'd find, or uh, black and white pictures of something very sad or moody, and she would put that in there trying to describe how she felt, or quotes from songs that she liked, very dark and moody. Playing a character that hasn't figured out who she is yet was a little bit of a challenge because I've always been very like, this is me, this is who I am, and so playing a character that still is taking in the world around her and being influenced by the bad and the good was a very interesting aspect for me to play on. I was such a boring teenager. I loved school. I still love school. I was valedictorian. I love college. <laughs> I did not go to parties. I was pretty boring. I like going on hikes with my dog and that's pretty much it. When I first got sent Euphoria, I was sent the pilot and then I booked it and at the time I was debating between multiple shows and so they sent me more episodes and they, I think they only had one to four at that time. And I read them and I loved them and everything that happens on the show has happened to somebody, whether it's you or somebody else. And so seeing that portrayed on TV, that's the shocking part. Act, the actual scenes, that's not shocking because that is real. There was a bit of, ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna do this because of the nudity. But then I sat back and I was like, if I was a 17 year old girl and I was having sex with my boyfriend, I would get naked. And it's a real scene. It's not sugar coated, it's not glamorized, it's not covered up and I was like, that's what the show is, it's, it's real. And I really wanted to bring justice to that realness. And also it's not about the nudity, it's more about the situation that she is in. And the show never really glamorized the nudity in that, which I think was really important. I've always been a, I've been a self-conscious person. And after filming those scenes, in some way I was like, I feel empowered. I feel like nobody can judge me. Like I just, I put myself out there and I feel the most confident as me. Throughout the season, Cassie and McKay's relationship is always trying to find its way. Um, they have their ups and downs. Cassie has influences from other guys and McKay has his influences from his father and his coach and what, it is in society's idea of to be a man and how they sometimes, girls can get in the way of that and, and there's all these outside forces that play against them which causes their own relationship harm even though it's not them actually because they do really well together, it's just the world around them that causes the situations inside the relationship. That's what I love about the show is that it doesn't really put 
like labels on anybody. Like you don't have the stereotypical blonde bombshell slut high schooler. Like it's just everybody has so many different layers. And that's one of the reasons why I loved Cassie is because so many people could have read that page and was like, oh, she's just the blonde slut. And there's so much behind Cassie that I wanted to bring to life through not words, like just, just her eyes or the way that she interacts with people.